Hello everybody, this is the Gray Man, and this is my Halloween 2018 movie review. And you guys are finally going to be finding out, did I like it, or did I not? And you guys have been asking me if I did like it or not, and here we go. It's been a long wait. Well, I just want to say, was Halloween, is Halloween 2018 worth to go see? Yeah, it is. But how much did I like Halloween 2018? Did I like it more than the original movie? Or did I not? Did I like it more than the original Halloween, which is on the cover here? Or not? You know what, guys? Halloween 2018, I... I liked it more than the original movie. I gotta say, Hall like Halloween 1978 is really good. In the year 1978, this movie came out that year. And Halloween 2018 is the perfect Halloween movie. Like, man oh man, Halloween 2018 makes Halloween 1978 look like a bad movie for many reasons. And you guys might think the might think not might not think the same but there's a lot of reasons why I am saying this they took Halloween 1978 40 years later and that is in 2018 with a new story they got the shape of Michael Myers right there is a couple parts in the movie this might be a spoiler, but they do get a couple parts in the movie where it's dark. And in a way, in a way that it's good, you know, it's not terrible. Um, we're not going to get black lighting like we did in the original movie. That's not something that could happen again. Um, I have to say guys, every single angle you see the mask in this film, it looks different. They got the shape. They got the shape of Michael Myers right guys. That's the one thing they got right that I'm telling you so far. The next thing they got right was Michael Myers, the character. Holy crap, this is probably the best Michael Myers out of the whole Halloween franchise. Like, he's probably, like, so strong, and in a way that is intense. Like, intense, you don't know who's gonna die. Guys, I'm back. I was just in the washroom. Um, but I just want to say, the next, the next video, um, actually, you know what? We're going to do this in one big video. We're going to do this in one big review. You're going to find out, you're going to find out in this, in this, in this video, spoiler and non-spoiler. I would give Halloween 2018 a 10 out of a 10 out of 10. Halloween 1978, I would give it a 10 out of 8. I'm giving Halloween 2018 a 10 out of 10, man. Like it's so good. Like I can't I did not think Halloween 2018 was gonna be my favorite Halloween movie. But it was. And you know spoiler alert, um Okay, let's start talking about spoilers. In order for me, in order for me to talk about the movie, I need to spoil. I need to spoil things. I need to. That's how I am. If I don't, if I can't spoil the movie, then what's the point of making a review on the movie? Okay, you know, you know how in the daytime a storm's starting to come in. It's starting to build up. 
and then at night it comes to attack. Well, Michael Myers is the same way. He's the storm building up in the daytime. And then at night, he tries killing people. And they got that right. They got it right. Everything in this movie, they got right. Besides blue lighting. There was probably no blue lighting in this movie. Really none. And I actually enjoyed it. I didn't, I didn't care for the blue lighting in the original. I don't mind that. We don't really need blue lighting in a Halloween movie now. I mean, if they do that with a, a sequel, the next one, if there is another one, blue lighting, fine. But, let's talk about spoilers, okay. If you guys do not want to hear about spoilers, turn back now and go see the movie first. Okay, spoilers in three, two, one. So you know how in Halloween 1978, um, and also guys, spoiler alert, um, if you don't hear that Halloween soundtrack in the background, that's the Halloween 2018 soundtrack. I know, it's awesome. Um, but moving on from that, Halloween 2018. You know how in Halloween 1978 first, first starts, it says Halloween, and then it starts zooming up on a pumpkin. Well, the cool thing about Halloween 2018, it says Halloween. Then there's this pumpkin, and it's all broken. It looks like Michael Myers took a step on it. They zoom in, and it starts regrowing. Like, it starts rehealing itself. It starts regrowing. And it's so freaking cool how it happens. I don't know how they did it, but it's awesome. Um, that was real cool. And then, we get to see something really interesting. You know in the trailer, when those two investigators go to that area where Michael's chained up, well, you actually get to see a part of Michael Myers' face without his mask on. And he has like a white eye and it's like a zombie looking eye. Creepy. You don't get to see his full face. Which I'm so happy they didn't do because I don't want to see his full face. I honestly don't think we needed the... I don't think we need to see him. I don't think they ever should show him in the daytime. But I actually... Really, I don't mind it. I actually like it. But at night, that's when he's scary. That's when he's really scary. And they get and they did have some dark scenes with him in it. Basically, you know uh, that scene where those two that that girl goes into the bathroom. And Michael Myers walks in and starts bit, doing this with the door, and there's like blood coming off it. Well, in the actual movie, those two investigators. Um, this is a spoiler, by the way. We're talking about spoilers now. Um, those two investigators basically, Michael Myers choked the female investigator, and she died, and the guy won. Got his head frickin' smack. You know, you know um, when he, like, bangs the door and, like, in the trailer? Well, that was the guy investigator. You couldn't tell who it was, but that was the guy investigator, and he got... I don't, I don't know if he lived, but I don't think he did. I think Michael actually stabbed him and killed him. Um, I don't know. He might have lived, but I don't know. Then, you get to see this freaking holy, this was gruesome, man. You get to see something really even more gruesome. They do not show certain kills, but you can see it behind like walls, but there's like a door, no door there. You don't get to see the person getting hit with anything, which I'm actually happy you don't, because it makes it more creepy. You just hear it. I like that. And you know what's really cool? There was this guy that was killed in the movie. And 
you don't see it, but like, I mean, you don't see him like do it, but when the investigator, the guy investigator walks in, you see this guy, and Michael like freaking cut hole, have his whole freaking like jaw right here, like, you know how those, your lips like, have those like edges on the front here? He like sliced his mouth open, and it just, it was just hanging, with, like this huge slices around his mouth. It was so disturbing. It was creepy, it was like, oh my god, his mouth was completely destroyed.